pleasure having two of my father's closest friends pay a visit to my fine establishment. Clovis, Virginia, thank you for coming in. You're aware of our nonprofit organization? The Brazilian Porcupine Foundation. So you're aware of our animal rights work? Oh, I try to stay up to date on all the porcupine related news. We'd like to offer you a position on the board. It's an end to Sacramento High Society. <laughs> wow. I will take that as a yes. Welcome to the upper echelon. The air is so much better up here. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> this is America, land of dreams. Everyone can climb higher. You're stuck here. You're part timer. Yeah. You can do anything. As long as it's not hard. And you can go anywhere. As soon Cursed with full-time dreams And this low-paying job Is as bad as it seems Bad as it seems What the f*** are you doing here? Whoa. What the f*** are you doing here? Oh, oh. Seriously, dude Like, what the f***? So last year's a party? Fun! Not a party, Ella, a gala! And I have to raise at least $10,000 to help save the Brazilian porcupine. I only know like three of my dad's friends' numbers. Well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's throwing parties. I tell you what, you let me take care of the invitees, and in exchange, I won't have to pay rent anymore. You already don't pay rent. No, I mean you pay for the next place that I rent. No. Deal. Are you sure you've got this covered? Yes, I'm positive. I just want tonight to be amazing. It will. Our guest list is full. Yeah, but what if none of them show up? Then your miniature ponies won't get their yachts or whatever, all right? Relax, it's fine, okay? Pete, have you seen my purse? I've looked for it everywhere. The black leather one with the big rose and the pewter handle? Yeah? Do you have it? Uh, no, haven't seen it. Hello? Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Wowie, oh, uh, okay. Thank you, wow. Uh, you know, technically there is a dress code, um, but for a $500 donation, you can wear anything you want. Cool. We're all gonna be naked soon anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, what? Well, a Brazilian porcupine is a pretty complicated sex move. I don't think clothes are gonna help. Unless you guys do it differently. You guys do it differently? You're here for the Brazilian porcupine, right? Yeah, I'm here to do a Brazilian porcupine. Got my wax and my tarp in here, a little trusty tarp. See ya. Excuse me, who all here got their invitation from the Craigslist post? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Ooh. No. I accidentally started an internet sex party. Well, any other night I'd be super impressed with myself, but Anton's gonna kill me. Ella! One of those creepers probably stole my purse. Oh no, okay? I'm sorry. Mads, I swear to you, I will get your favorite purse back. How did you know it was my favorite? Oh, because you bring it to work every day. Except for Thursdays, because that's when you go to the gym. This is the nicest Brazilian porcupine I've ever seen. You can't be serious. Well, I'm fairly new to the scene. Why, do they get fancier? My dear, this is the bottom of the barrel. Uh-uh, barrelers meet on Wednesdays. Hello? They asked me to introduce Anton, a true porcupine advocate, or as he likes to call it, prick of the year. <laughs> So, for a man who needs no introduction, but got one anyway, Anton. First, I'd like to thank- When's the f 
Party. Yeah. The f party. Oh. oh my. She gets it. A what? Some kind of forbidden sex move, okay? There was a mix-up on the invitation. Ella, this was your one responsibility. I know, I was gonna kick them out, but they all paid. You made more than $10,000 tonight. <sighs> okay, just keep them away from my guests, please. For anyone who's been asking for the grease, I'll be serving it up in the kitchen. Anton, you really must serve better hors d'oeuvres. Oh, you shouldn't go in there. But they stole my purse! I really shouldn't have gone in there. Max, I made a commitment. And I swear to you that if your purse is in that kitchen, I'll get it back. And then I'll kick the ass of whoever took it. No, no. Thanks. It is really good. Well, maybe we should try the grease in the kitchen. Why not? I'm up for anything new. Look, ladies, no, uh, you'll you'll miss the dance party. Hey, buddy, uh, can we get some dance music up here? Where you headed, boss? Mm. Ooh, electric slide, everybody! Come on, electric slide. Mm-hmm. Hey, what are you guys doing? Protecting people from the Brazilian porcupine sex party. Nice! It does kind of look like a porcupine. Aren't you guys having so much fun? Hey, sorry I couldn't find your purse. It's okay. If my purse is in there, I'm not gonna want it back anyways. I see you ladies, I see you. Come on, put your butt to the back, hey! Oh yeah! Back to the left. Hey. So, I guess this means we'll be seeing young Anton at the train restoration gala next week. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Dude. Great Brazilian porcupine. Oh, anything for the animals. <laughs> for the animals. <laughs> totally. Oh, and if, uh, if we could have another sex party in your kitchen, we'll pay double. Got a great drain. Black hole. <laughs> it's, uh, jokes. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a ride home, Pete. No probs. I can give you a ride whenever. <laughs> it's cool. No way. What? No way. <laughs> I left it in my car. You don't need to give me a ride home anymore, obviously. Good. I guess so. Hey, if I had to be traumatized by a Craigslist meetup, I'd want it to be with you. Guess I'll catch you at the next sex party, huh? <laughs> So I'm gonna go. Okay. You think you're gonna lose the Great party, sir. You're a hell of a host. I'm tripling my donation. <laughs> yes! Oh. I never actually saw what was going on in there. Don't, no man, don't, don't go in. 
no. You okay? Are you okay? Hey guys, well that was an educational episode. If you enjoyed learning about the efforts to save the endangered Brazilian porcupine, give this video a thumbs up. Click the box on the left to watch the previous episode. And click the box on the right to find out if Pete will man the F up and just tell Matt how he really feels. You wanna watch me do push-ups? Yeah. Whoa. Or for some real world advice from Ella, click the box in the middle. Uh, Frosted Snowman, basically just sex except you wear mittens the whole time. And if you're watching this on a phone or tablet, all the links are in the description box below. Mm -hmm.